Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Jade Ridge. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link. Right there is my QR code. You can scan with your mobile phone. It will take you straight to my free app. You will receive homes right from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So Jade Ridge, this is a Taylor Morrison community. I want to spin around really quickly just so you can see where we are. We are in South Summerlin today. The mountains are beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little toasty today. It's like 114, but it is not that bad. I'm even standing out in the sun and I am barely sweating at all. But before we get into this one again, if you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you are considering buying a new home, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, email the builder, before you go into the models and check them out, before you speak with the associates. Because if you don't, if you go in person without me, I need to go with you the first time, you're gonna work directly with the associates and they don't represent you. They represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation and fund back as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor fees, builder does. So give me a call. This is the plan four. This is a two story, four bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. You are gonna get, ooh, let me back up and I'll show you. You're gonna get this covered patio out front. You're gonna get a covered patio in the back. It comes with a balcony and the balcony is covered. This is 2,000 and, excuse me, 2,146 square feet. This starts at 481,900. Ooh, this is nice. So HOA over here is just over a hundred bucks a month. You get the Summerlin HOA plus this community HOA Jade Ridge. It is a gated community. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs first. Now, there is a SID on this. That's an assessment from the county. It's like $8,500. You can pay it off right away. You can pay in installments every six months. It's like 190 bucks a month for that. Ooh, this is cool. Lots are ranging anywhere between 15 to $50,000 for the premium. So 100% this is upgraded. Normally you're gonna get a pony wall, flooring's upgraded. I'll point out as many options and upgrades as I can for you. The can lighting in here. That is an option. Normally you're just gonna get that single light right there, the cap for a ceiling fan light fixture. You're gonna get them in the hallways, but in the rooms and in like the common areas, those are extra. This is a nice size loft. I feel like a lot of people are gonna like this. Ooh, okay, I'll show you where we are. That is wet and wild. You could almost walk there. It's probably a mile away now. The, the months I would recommend walking there, you're probably not going to because they're going to be closed. But it is right down the street. That would be so nice on a day like today just to go cool off, especially since we are open. Vegas is open. Everything's open. The pool parties, the clubs. It's weird, especially after last year. Coming on down this hall. What do we have right here? Ooh, first bedroom. So no light in that ceiling fan. This is a good size bedroom. I just feel like you're gonna wanna light. Those two lights are doing absolutely nothing. We have our window, we have our fan. Now, they are gonna give you three light switches, one for the fan, one for the light, and one for the half hot, which is gonna be one of these electrical outlets that you can just turn it off and on for the um, lamp. But you can do can lighting if you want. This room's big enough where you may wanna, you may not, just depends. But let me come over here so you can see, it's good size. That's a full size bed. Those are two huge nightstands. They're basically two dressers, but it's kind of dim in here. And I know the main reason why is because they don't have a light on that fan. If we spin around, it's cool dressers. We have a very, very nice size two door slider. Again, you need more space, move it up, add a second one, and you have doubled your closet space. So coming on out, I feel like you almost need a lamp here or a light in the ceiling here because this is kind of dim right here. Coming on down, we have second bedroom. This bedroom's just a bit smaller than the first. Full size bed, two nightstands, they are mirrors. And again, no lighting in the ceiling. So it's just a bit dim in here. That will be taken care of if you get a ceiling fan with a light, but not quite as big as the last bedroom, but still very, very nice size. I'm just gonna point this out really quickly because when I go downstairs, I'll show you where it's in the laundry room. You have an ethernet plus a cable line right there. And I'll show you where they connect to so you don't have to worry about dead spots and all that kind of stuff. If you want to hard line a computer, you could do it right there. 
right here again, two door slider. And that's a big closet. It goes even with the door. So that's a very, very nice size closet. Coming on down. Right here we have our upstairs uh, bathroom. So again, flooring's optioned up. Let me just see these. Are they? I'm gonna try to... Oh, they are sock closed. So sock closed, they have upgraded the cabinets. The countertops are standard. I believe these may even be the standard fixtures because I've noticed them in all of them. We have our single sheet of glass. We have our medicine cabinet. They are doing two lights, one above each vanity. And then we have a door into our bathroom. I'm gonna be honest. Mm, 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 mm. This is gonna get a little tight right here when you open the door. So you're almost gonna have to be like way over there or in the tub to get in and out. I Leave a comment down below. Do you wish this was just completely open or do you like the fact that you can close off the water closet from the sinks? I used to think I like it where you can use the sinks while someone's in the bathroom, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't have kids, so I don't have to worry about that. Let me know down in the comments below. We have our toilet and we have our tub shower combo. Now this is a fiberglass composite. You have your self sh uh, shelves, you have your soap shelves. They even have a window in here. And then right there is our shower head, our tub filler and our valve. You can option up if you wanna go to stone. I know a lot of people do like tile, I do too. But just note, it is easier to keep that clean. There's no grout lines. We spin around. This hall is very wide, which is nice. Ooh, nice laundry room. So I'm surprised they put this stone in here and not in the sinks in the, um, oh, these are completely different lowers. Interesting. They're soft closing, but they don't have the hardware on them. So that's different. And I really like this stone. If you want to do a sink, you can add a sink too. They did the uppers just so you know, Everything in here is optioned up. Those uppers, normally you're gonna get a shelf. So they did the uppers here, uppers there, and the full folding area. So it's just gonna be a big, big, big open laundry room. This is a huge laundry room. Coming over here into our master suite. I feel like, to be completely honest, oh, it's a big room. I was gonna say, I feel like they could have even bumped this out and taken up some room in the laundry room, but this is a nice size room. King size bed, two nightstands, one, two windows that are static, that window opens up. There's your cap for your pre-wire. So there's no lights on in here. It is a little dim, but at the same time, there is a lot of natural light coming in here. We have our bench. We have a dresser right here. Let me come on over here, spin around, and we'll go outside. But look how pretty it is out here. Mountains galore. And you can see all the way to Red Rock Casino spinning around it is very very open in here this is a big bedroom just want to give you all the views and then heading on back to the patio now you will get a covered balcony out here which is really really awesome i know a lot of builders this is a pretty expensive upgrade but not the case this is, comes with the house so little sitting area it is covered too which is awesome and then views and views and views and views. Wow. Now, while we're up here, you're gonna have to budget for all of this. The backyard does not come included. It's going to be dirt. Again, average backyard, somewhere between 13 and 15, depending on what you do. This is probably gonna be a little bit more. They did a lot of landscaping. They did all the rock and the pavers and a little pergola. This is pretty nice. Mm, I don't know, maybe pushing 20. But again, it depends on the size of your backyard. It depends on what you're putting in. Again, if you put a pool, spa, heater, and it's pretty good size. If it's the concrete kind, not the vinyl kind, figure 40 plus thousand before landscaping. Coming on into the bathroom. So I'm gonna be honest, I feel like with that light, they need to change it out. It's kind of dim and all of the lights are on here, but mm, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's, you would have to see it in person. I don't know if the flooring is causing it also to be a little bit darker, but it feels a little dark up here. Right here we have our vanities. See those, that was really strange. The ones in the laundry room, they didn't have the hardware. Right here we have our under-mounted sinks. 
And I noticed this in the other one. I'll get to it here in a second, but we do have our window. We, we have our medicine cabinet. I love reading the comments. <laughs> I'm already hearing it. We spent 180. I do appreciate how far back that toilet is because it opens inward with the door. You're not gonna get trapped in there. But this is what I found so interesting. What would you use this space for? There's what, almost, there's three feet right here. Uh, I kind of get why they didn't extend the vanity because then you're looking out the window, but at the same time, it is a pretty view, at least in this one. Also, I'm gonna point out right here, when you do your walkthrough to take delivery, make sure that everything is good. You can see the woods lifted up a bit. They just need to like fix it and touch it up. But I always go to all of my walkthroughs. We look over the home like a hawk. You wanna make sure that the home is in the condition you wanna take delivery. So those little details. We have our shower only and it is pretty nice. It is cultured marble. So there's no grout lines. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven seams. I guess if you include the shelf, there's a few more, but there's no grout lines. We have our soap shelf. We have our valve, our shower head and valve. It's nice. It's big. It's a huge shower. Coming on into our, ooh, really nice upgraded. This is not standard. It's going to look the same as in the secondary bedrooms, but they did double bar all of our storage area with our um, poles, our drawers, and more storage over here. Big closet. Really, really nice size closet. Just... I don't know. Leave a comment down below. What would you put here? I don't know. Hmm. I guess maybe my, well, no, because I have my laundry hamper in my laundry room. I, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Again, if you have any questions about anything I've said in this tour or any other tours, please, please reach out to me again. All my info down below. Love to help you out in any way possible. Ooh, I want to stop really quickly. There's a window behind me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are a lot of windows on this upstairs area. Again, do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. It helps it grow, pushes it out to more people and it helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. So already the downstairs feels more open. It's because we have nine foot ceilings down here instead of the eight foot right here. We have, an, oh, it's locked. It's going to be coat closet and Harry Potter room. You can see the stairs are right here. So storage right here. We have our powder room. So same cabinets, just a single vanity. It's pretty nice. We have our toilet. It's not the biggest one, but it's very, very usable. You don't need a huge powder room, but we do have a Vegas window. So if there's a neighbor next door, you're definitely going to want some uh, window treatment on that one because that is awfully, awfully low. Right here, we have our two car garage, but unfortunately I can't get into them. They always keep them locked and wow, it is so open down here. It's huge, it, it's really, really nice. Now again, you can add can lighting in this room. This room, you may wanna do that because it is so big. That slider is an optional upgrade. Normally you're just gonna get the single panel that slides, that's the double. Well, I guess it's the triple panel but this is so open. Wow. Let's go out back real quick. I know I showed it from upstairs, but nice, huge living room. And with the slider, it just makes it even more open. Again, you're going to get the covered patio. You're going to get the papers right here, but they're only going to go out to the column. Ooh, little squirrel. Everything else will be dirt. In this backyard, they did it really nice. They have all the landscaping. They have all of these pavers. You could even do a um, outdoor uh, barbecue or even fire pit. Now the um, gas stub, I believe is like a $500 option if you wanna do so. It's a nice backyard. It's, it may be close to 15, it may be just a bit more because it is pretty nice. So coming back in, I love how the builders and the designers, decorators are doing this kind of bench idea because when you look down, it doesn't like impede your view like a couch would. We even have a chair over here. It's very, very open. Oh my gosh, look at the kitchen. Wow, wow, wow. So before we check out this incredible kitchen, right here we have our dining space. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven feet to the dining area. 
I feel like they should have extended the island out. Or just even if they extended the overhang. There's a lot of empty space here. A lot of empty space. Let's check out our dining area. So they have a six person. They could easily turn that into an eight person dining table. There is a lot of room. We have our tree. Two huge windows that open up. Wow. I'm impressed with how big this space is. Even behind the chairs to the uh, couch table, it's very open out here. It's just... Mm, 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 mm. That's your pantry. So I don't know. I feel like either that pantry should have been bigger or I wish, and I don't know if there's an option to extend the cabinets all the way down because this right here, let me back up even. There's so much space. You may not need the cabinets because look how many we have over here, but I wish the pantry was bigger. That's the only thing. And I wish this, it didn't need to come out farther or just with cabinets, just the overhang. So you could put another two chairs, but this is amazing how much counter space you have, how big the island is. Again, our pantry though, mm. they did, oh, so they just did the single stove. Normally it's going to be the stove oven combo right there, but they upgraded. They did the separate, they just did the range. We have one oven. I know a lot of people are gonna wish this was an oven or at least a convection microwave, just a standard microwave. They did the soft closing cabinets and drawers. Whew, that is a big piece of stone. Really, really large island. Four cabinets underneath. Here's your view even from the island. Oh, it would be so nice just being able to sit here and cook and like chop up everything. We spin back around. We have our dishwasher. And then we have our undermounted stainless steel half double basin sink. Your view though. Uh, hmm, I mean, it is pretty with the tree, but I feel like with this one, I would want the kitchen, the sink on the island. Unfortunately, they do not have the option to switch it out. Most builders, wherever the sink is, that's where it's gonna be. They did the lighting underneath and Usually, oh, right behind me, there is a phone jack for this one. They did the backsplash all the way up to where the uppers are. They're doing the 42 inch uppers. Again, these are upgraded quite a bit. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our massive vent. Normally there'll be cabinets up above and it will just be the, um, the microwave that sits above the oven. And then it will vent outside as well. We have our refrigerator. There's a lot of counter space and a lot of cabinet space in here. I just feel like, what would you use that space for? The, I really, really like this downstairs. I really do. Just, I wish there was a bigger pantry for how big the house is. Ooh, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. If you wanna see it in person, give me a call before you call the builder. We can go together and I will show it to you. Either this one or any other property, whether new or resale out here in the entire valley. Again, all my contact down below. If you could do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. Again, I try to put new tours out every single day, so make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.